The mayor has had to tackle several crises this year alone. Still, she says she has a lot on her to-do list. Boston Mayor Michelle Wu at a South End restaurant reflecting on her first year in office. How would you grade yourself? Incomplete, I hope. <laughs> I hope I've got a little more time. She says there's more work to do. Since her swearing in, the mayor has seen an unprecedented orange line shutdown, the ongoing crisis at Mass and Cass, and a burst in violent crime. She also kept the state from taking over Boston public schools. It doesn't happen overnight, but every single day we are able to measure what's working, keep getting better, and keep building stronger partnerships with community members. I would say that. Um, uh, she deserves a, a C plus. Reverend Kevin Peterson says there's room for improvement, especially when it comes to public safety. We in the black community who are looking at the issue of episodic violence are, are hoping that she could be more transparent and responsive. The mayor has appointed police and fire commissioners along with a new superintendent of schools. She says she's looking forward to next year. That's where we'll start to see some of the fruits of the seeds we planted over this last year coming out. Democratic analyst Marianne Marsh says this mayor is taking a different approach than her predecessors. In the past, some high profile business names and others really had the loudest voices in the mayor's office. She's really been listening to all the people of Boston across all the neighborhoods, and that has made a real difference. Now, the mayor also tells me she is close to appointing a so-called nightlife czar, someone who can liven up the city's social scene. We're live here in Boston, Charmin Sketty, WCVB News Center 5.